Hi, grade levels. In this lesson, we are going to look at finding the equation of a line. The line should be on the Cartesian plane, x and the y axis. Now, if a line just cuts the y axis, in this case, if the line is parallel to the x axis, only cutting the y axis, your equation will be in a form y is equal to a constant number. Meaning the constant number could be 5, could be 8, could be 3.5 or minus a quarter or so. If the line only cuts the x-axis, then the equation will be x is equal to a constant as well. So x will be equal to a number as well. However, if a line is slanted, cutting both the y-axis and the x-axis, it could also face that direction as well, cutting the x-axis and the y-axis. So the format of a line like that would be y is equal to mx plus a c. Your equation is slanted, you have y is equal to mx plus c so the m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept c is where it should cut the y-intercept the y-axis now remember that m is the gradient we know how to find the gradient of a line now let's look at some examples here's the line here this green line here it only cuts the y-axis Therefore, the equation, because it said give the equation of each of the following lines, so the equation of this line is y equals a constant, and the constant on this line here, the constant of y, is the y value, the y is 3. Let's look at number 2. This line here only cuts the y-axis. The y value on this line here, the y value on this line is minus 2, can see the y value is minus 2 so the equation is y is equal to only concentrate on the y value so the y is equal to minus 2 let's look at this one this one here only cuts the x-axis and only cuts the x-axis at 3 so the equation of this one is x is equal to 3 if we look at this one here it only cuts the x-axis the x-axis, if you look at who we'll check what is the x value here, you can see, can see that the x is always minus 4. Minus 4 is 2. Minus 4 is to minus 3. So the x value here at this point here will be minus 4. As the coordinates here will be minus 4 is to 0. So the equation of this line here is x is equal to a minus 4. Let's look at another one. Now when they don't draw the line they might say find the equation of the line in the form y is equal to mx plus c so it means that this line here is some kind slanted it could be slanted like this or slanted like that but i'm not interested in drawing the, the line okay so they just say we must find the equation of this line now if they want us to find the equation of the line it means that now the m should be a number and c should be a number so the y and x should be there. What they said, they said, if m is a half, they tell us that m is half. So we now know that m is half, but we don't know the c. So how do we find this? We say, if y is equal to mx plus c, we know what is m. We're told that m is a half. We can plug in there. Therefore, y is equal to a half x plus c. Now, how do I find this c value? The c value I can find by substituting the y value and the x value from a given point. They gave us the point which is on the line. So this is the x value and this is the y value. I can substitute this x value and the y value on this to be able to find the c. Let's put it in. So the x value is minus 6. The y value is minus 10. Y is minus 10. So minus 10 is equal to 1 over 2 times x. x is a minus 6 
then plus a c so minus 10 is equal to half of a minus 6 we know that it's minus 3 then plus a c which means that c is equal to minus 10 take this across is plus 3 so which means that c value is minus 10 plus 3 which is equal to minus 7 so the c is minus 7 that c value is minus 7 therefore we can say now the equation is y is equal to the half x and the c value which we got as a minus a 7 done let's look at one more problem here they say Determine the equation of the line below, line AB below. There is a line. You can see that this line is landed like that. So if a line is landed like that, therefore it's got a standard form. Just like in the previous one, we explained that it's y is equal to mx plus c, the line is landed. When you look at the initial one, we say if the line is landed, the standard form would be y is equal to mx plus c. Therefore, if I want to find this, I would say y is equal to mx plus c now we have a problem because we don't know m so we need to find out m m is the gradient remember in the previous lessons to find the m value we say y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so m is equal to what is y2 so we've got two points here so if this is a y2 so the y and this is x and y that's x and y so if that's the second point so it's y2 will be minus 10 then i subtract the y1 which is a 6 I subtract 6 over x2 is a 3 then i subtract what am i subtracting i'm subtracting minus 1 I subtract minus 1 over there so my m value will be minus 6 minus 10 minus 6 is minus 16 divided by a 3 minus minus 1 that is a 4. So what is my m value? My m value becomes as minus 16 divided by 4, which is a minus 4. So now I know that the gradient m is minus 4. If m is minus 4, I can plug it in there previously, as previously. So therefore, y is equal to the m value, which you say is minus 4. So it's minus 4x plus c. So now what is left is to find the value of c. So to find the value of c, you can choose any of the points that you feel is easier to substitute. And that point must be on the line that you are talking about. I'm saying that because sometimes you've got other points lying around the diagram, but they are not on the line that you are talking about. In this case, you are talking about line AB and the points that are on AB is A and B. So I can choose any of those two points. The easiest one, I think that, that minus 1 is 6 is the easiest one. And then in that point, that is the x value and that is the y value. Let's substitute. x is minus 1, y is 6. So 6 is equal to minus 4 times x. x is minus 1, then plus a c. So 6 is equal to minus 4 times minus 1, that's supposed to 4, then plus c. I'm solving for c. I take a 4 across, which means that now 6 minus 4 will be my c value. So therefore, it means that c is equal to 6 minus 4, which is 2. Now I know c is 2. So c is 2. If c is 2, I can plug it in there because now I know that c is 2. Therefore, I can answer the question saying the equation they are looking for is y is equal to a minus 4x then plus a c value which is a plus a 2. Done. That's as simple as that. So on your own, can you try some of your of the problems from the grade 11 Seavula textbook? Chapter 4, 4.2 says equation of a line. So you do the exercise 4.2, exercise 4.3, and exercise 4.4. They're all similar. They're similar to these ones here. Just enjoy.